Uh, yeah. That's the one I want, I think. Morning world, welcome to Monday. Is it the 23rd of May, 2022? Um, a couple of bits and bobs I've got to do today. Well, I haven't got to do, there's a couple of things I've set myself to do today. Um, you'll remember all the land drains we put in. Um, they all seem to be working quite well, but uh, I always intended to dig out the ditch where the pipes actually erupt out of the ground. Um, the difference in level between the pipe and the actual ditch is only inches. I want to get a bit of depth in there, so if we get a lot of rain, I've got somewhere for the water to go. I'll show you what I mean. Got a bit of grass out here now. Um, the cattle could come out here now, but we're looking at controlling our grasses. We don't know what the weather's going to do. Uh, at the moment, the weather is perfect for growing grass. But with our unpredictable summer, shall we say, I'm hedging my bets a bit. I'll let this get a bit further ahead. But there is plenty of, plenty of stalk, which you don't really want. This is all coxfoot. This is a drought resistant grass, deep rooted grass, drought resistant, but also very coarse and not very palatable. This stuff is what the cat like, but not that bit. What they want is that bit or the hedge they'll always go for the hedge hmm is there enough on there see i've got to get in there which means i've got to go through that wire but there is a little bit of extra on there so there may be there may be a fix around that that end, or that end. This might be the better option. That goes over the top, that goes over the top. So I need to pinch that one there. All right. Okay, we'll come back to that. Okay, so. I've got a couple of pipes that come out into the uh, ditch over there. I need to get in here and widen this out. Now, that is probably going to mean I'm going to have to take out a little bit of that hedge, which is a, a shame, but we've got enough space out here. I can replant the hedge further out. And at the moment, water management is the higher priority. And the second one, over here. This is probably going to be easier to do. <coughs> so there's three pipes coming out of the grain there. The two brain ones are the new ones that actually follow that trench there. That old six inch one kind of goes that way, but all three of them run. But you can see the problem I got. I need to open this out in here to give water somewhere to go. Uh, we've got a visitor. All right, back up those. Well, I was going to get the digger out and do some ditching, but Mike had just rung me. The tree team are doing a roadside job today with stop-go signs, and they forgot to take any radios with them. So we've got to take a trip to Yuli now, take them over some radios. There's always something going on, always something going wrong. It did say they could manage without the radios because it's a very short stop go so then it's a straight bit of road but um, it'd be easier with the radios so it was kind of the emphasized easier with the radios if I you know could drop them over please that'd be very useful thank you that's the reason we're off to Yuli
Okay, well the guys are just down here. We should spot them any second now. One for you. Cheers. On nine, all right? Yeah. It's on nine. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right. That's that sorted out. I would stop and see how they're getting on, but there's kind of not much to see yet. Well, maybe, maybe we'll come back later on and uh, see how they're getting on. Right, finally back to my work. Um, sounds like the tree guys are having a bit of trouble over where they're working at the moment. Visibility. Um, our target is one tree now. Um, a lot of ash die back at the moment. This tree we're not working on doesn't actually have the ash die back, or if it if it does, it's only the very beginning. But it's surrounded by lots of other trees that are in full leaf, and it's making visibility to the road surface not ideal. So they're going to have to slow down a little bit. Um, but basically, they've, they've called me and I said, look, at the end of the day, if it's not safe, as long as the tree isn't unsafe, we'll abort it, and if we have to, we'll go back in the autumn when everything else has got its leaves off and we can see what we're doing better. So it's all down to safety. It's all down to, you know, traffic. We're, we're controlling traffic with stop-go boards. But as always, not everybody takes a bit of notice. A lot of people just decide to stop-go boat, stop boards and just, uh, doesn't mean stop, it means just slow down a bit. They're already going too fast. Anyway, um, I've left the four-foot bucket on for now. Because <coughs> I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually do a bit of the ditch. So I'll clear the ditch upwards a bit first, and then we'll look at widening it on the other side later on. My ditches get absolutely choked with this weed every year. Um, the cattle love it, which um, is the reason it's got two problems. One, um, it chokes up the stream or chokes up the ditch. And two, the cattle are always pushing against the wire trying to get to it. So I'm sure there's some other wildlife that love it as well, but right now there's plenty more further downstream, which I'll leave. This bit needs to come out. Just so I can get water away. an awful lot of silt in here to be honest it's um, I dug it out a couple of years ago um, I think it was autumn time that time so, no. um, so this is really just a case of getting some of this weed under control I can't spray it it would be rather difficult to get in there and do it by hand so this is the simplest way I have of controlling this weed. I only really want to clear the pipes to make sure that 
if we get a lot of rain for any reason it can get away we're downstream enough now there's enough fall left on this everything can escape then we're out there I'm working in the blind on a lot of this because I just can't see what I'm doing just kind of feel it early don't roll back in not the neatest job in the world but it will do so the rest of the ditch on down <coughs> and then you're I'm gonna leave it for the wildlife and the habitat and everything else it looks like it's just this bit here i want to get out that if we do get a heavy downpour of rain it can actually get it away from the buildings right 11 o'clock coffee time i'll just show you what i've done Apart from make a bit of a mess, it's literally just clear space for these pipes. I'd have to get in here with a spade or a shovel, and just clean around the end of the pipes there. But again, upstream, it's really difficult to do because these bits of hedge, I can't see through. I'm literally guessing where the where the bucket is. Um, and down there, so now like now the water can get away. Well, it can get away. <clears throat> I've actually sort of been thinking about it. I might leave digging that out over there till later in the year. Uh, there's too much stuff going on in hedges and I don't think there's anything nesting down here. In fact, I'm fairly sure nothing is nesting down there. But for the time being, that's good enough. I know it's untidy. I know a lot of you would tut and go <laughs> roll your eyes. But the job I wanted to do or the task is achieved. Uh, I'll have to get in there with a shovel later on and uh, tidy it up, but not today. I've got other things to do today. <laughs>